How's it going folks? Joe here. Now when it comes to welding, generally speaking, there's MIG, TIG, and stick welding. And most of the time when we purchase a machine, we're committing to one of those processes. One may primarily TIG weld, but on occasion wishes they had the ability to MIG or stick weld. Or maybe they're proficient in MIG welding and want to practice their TIG welding techniques without having to purchase yet another machine. Well, wouldn't you like to have your cake and eat it too? Multi-process welders might be just what you're looking for, so let's talk about it. Now, before you all barrage the comment section reminding me of other processes for welding, I purposely boil down welding to MIG, TIG, and stick because frankly, we found that the most common processes amongst those tackling restorations or other DIY fixes around the house. So with that out of the way, I'm here to lay down our top three options for those considering purchasing a multi-process welder from Eastwood. We have our MP140i, MP200i, and MP250i welders. First, let's explore the MP140i. Powered by common 120 volt household current, this unit can plug into practically any outlet you'll find at home in the shop. It sports IGBT inverter technology, which not only reduces weight and provides a more consistent weld than traditional transformer powered machines, but also means it can run off a generator. This is great news for those of you who may find yourselves welding in a field or away from a power source. In addition, this machine can run flux core wire as well. One can assume if you're welding far from power, lugging a gas bottle can be a serious inconvenience as well. The MP140i can weld up to 3 16 inch steel, which is perfectly adequate for run-of-the-mill repairs on your restoration, from sheet metal to even light frame repair. In my opinion, this is the perfect welder for beginners who want to jump between processes when duty calls. Next, we have the MP200i. Very similar to the 140i, but as the name suggests, this unit has a max output of 200 amps meaning it can tackle steel up to 3 8 of an inch thick. This elevates the unit to be able to tackle thicker, more structural projects, like building your own chassis, while also being able to weld patch panels with sheet metal. This unit also features IGBT inverter technology, which is great, it offers that reduced weight and the ability to weld using a generator. In addition, this unit can also run off 120 volts if that's the only power source available. A very convenient option with only a slight compromise of max welding ability due to the decreased amperage, which makes sense. The less power going into the machine, the less heat and penetrating ability the welder offers. This machine, as well as the 140i, can also weld aluminum with the optional spool gun. Both versatile and user-friendly units, I'd consider the MP200i ideal for the serious hobbyist. Lastly is the Elite MP250i welder. Now we're talking some serious fabrication capabilities and bolstered features for the professional welder. Things like half-inch steel and stainless welding capacity, healthy 60% duty cycle for those long welds, extra long torches and leads. The unit itself is even an all-in-one welder and cart setup that holds two gas bottles ready to easily switch between two fully independent MIG and TIG systems. Speaking of TIG, this welder is a true high frequency start with included foot pedal, while the MP140i and 200i offer a more basic scratch start functionality. This is for the pro who knows time and convenience equals money. For the ultimate all-in-one machine, whether at home in the garage or in a professional shop, this is definitely what you're looking for. Well, there you have it folks, some seriously smart options for multi-process functionality. The MP140i and 200i for beginner or serious hobbyists, all the way to the big boy MP250i, sporting all the pro features for an efficient and productive workflow. We have additional videos and more detailed specs on these machines, as well as all of your other metal fabrication needs. To see more, click the link and visit eastwood.com.